and this is a confirmation that's been put out by Isro. The Isro has taken to social media to talk about the first observations from the Chandra surface thermophysical experiment payload on board the Vikram lander. How this thermophysical experiment measures the temperature profile of the lunar topsoil around the pole to understand the thermal behavior of the moon's surface. Talking about the temperature probe equipped with a control penetration mechanism. The probe is fitted with 10 individual temperature sensors. So getting really into the details of what's happening after the successful landing of of Vikram on the south pole of the moon. ISRO, remember, has been releasing non-stop videos showing the Pragyan rover roaming around the Shiv Shakti point, as the Prime Minister named it, uh, the touchdown site of lander Vikram. And this is the latest information that's been passed on by ISRO. Let me quickly go across to Kitty joining us with these details. Kitty, tell us about the rover measuring topsoil temperature and all of those details being shared by ISRO officially now. Well, Prithvi, ISRO, as we know, has been given continuous updates about the activities of uh, Vikram lander as well as the program uh, rover on uh, the lunar surface. And these are the first observations now that have come in from the uh, payload, uh, that is the chast payload on board Vikram lander. This tweet that has been put out by ISRO now says that the chast, that is Chandra's surface thermophysical experiment, measures the temperature profile of the lunar topsoil around the south pole. This is to understand the thermal behavior of the moon's surface. Now, th this is the first probe report uh, that has been sent by the CHAST payload on board the Vikram lander, which is studying the lunar topsoil around the south pole. Now, the uh, tweet also says that it has a temperature probe equipped with a control penetration mechanism, which is capable of reaching a depth of 10 centimeter beneath the surface. Now, a graph also has been put out by ISRO. This graph illustrates the temperature variations of the lunar surface, that is a near surface at various depths which have been recorded during the probe's penetration and this is definitely the first such profile of the lunar south pole. Let's take a look at the graph here. Variation of temperature on uh, lunar surface with increase in depth. It starts from minus 10 degrees Celsius here. And uh, as uh, the depth increases, the temperature varies. It goes from minus 10 degrees to minus 50 degrees Celsius on the lunar surface. Kritsvi. All right. Many thanks for that, Kitty. Let me go across to Neha as well, joining us with more details. You've been tracking this journey, Neha. It's been an interesting journey indeed and something we're watching out for the next couple of days. The next 14 to 15 days are going to be most crucial and the first details being shared by ISRO on how the rover is measuring the topsoil's temperature. Some of the nitty gritties that the ISRO is now sharing with everyone who's been watching this mission so very closely. Well, that's absolutely right. You know, in fact, uh, this happens to be one of the first uh, payloads, uh, you know, that's actually on board the Vikram lander and it's still putting out some very crucial details here about, you know, the thermal temperature of the lunar topsoil around the pole. We're also given to understand that there are another three payloads, you know, that are, of course, going to be deployed in various experiments. But uh, talking about uh, this particular payload here, which is the Chandra surface, uh, you know, thermophysical experiment that's being conducted. We are picking up that about 10 individual temperature sensors is what, uh, you know, in fact, uh, the lander has been fitted with there. And the graph that it shows now put out shows the radiations as well in, uh, you know, at various depths. Now, apart from that, also we're picking up now that, uh, you know, detailed observations, of course, are still underway. And uh, that the payload, in fact, is developed by a team by the uh, Space Physics Laboratory. Now, this is something that, you know, the ISRO Chen and Somnath had mentioned earlier as well, you know, while going on to pay uh, gratitude, of course, while thanking mm -hmm. his team, we had the special mention of this team as well that is responsible, uh, you know, for, of course, uh, this particular uh, payload that we're referring to here.